I see some of you starting to show up. Awesome. All right. Well, let me show you the project and then a little housekeeping and then we'll get started. Hey, Deline. Hi, Rhonda. Don't you just love this? It's a really cute way to let all the teachers or all the sisters or all the girlfriends or all the granddaughters know that you care. It's a really cute, simple, easy project. Let your nail files lead the way. I found mine at Walmart. This is the brand. They came in a two pack. I rebagged them in a one by eight bag from Clear Bags. I found the strawberry and watermelon in a two pack. Made these for the craft fairs. Hey, Evanel. I decided to do these with you today for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, Stampin' Up! is retiring the envelope punch board, and we use that for this little pouch. And the Sunny Day stamp set is on the retirement list as well. So it's a fun little retirement project. Also thought it would be a good one to do. Turn those over for anybody who's curious about that brand. Found them at Walmart. Um, I thought it would be a good one to do because I opened up registration yesterday for the Sunny Days online class. All right, so the Sunny Days online classroom is open now, kitchentablestamper.com slash online classroom. We're making five projects in this online class. Hey, Winan. Hi, Gina. This is our project today. It also features Sunny Days. But I thought, what a cute project to do and just take some time housekeeping and let you know about the online class. All right, so in the online classroom, $34 includes the Sunny Day stamp set and the kits to make five fun cards and projects. All right, so in the online classroom, we'll make this You Can Do Hard Things card. Coordinating little candy pouch. Make your dreams happen. This wishing you success and only the best card. Wishing you sunny days ahead card. And it's matching cookie box. You can register for the online class at kitchentablestamper.com slash online classroom now through May 13th. All right, so that's the online class with sunny days. We're going to make this fun little nail file pouch today. And it also features... Sunny Days. This is my favorite stamp set in the 2018-19 annual catalog. And I've been waiting for the weather to come around to play with this for a long time. It's really hard to um, focus on something like that in, in the fall or over Christmas time. So I've really been um, just dying to play with this one. My nail files came from Walmart. This is the brand. They were two-pack Got the two fruits in one pack. I repackaged them into a one by eight bag from Clear Bags. All right. I've got um, one more bit of housekeeping while people get in here. I see you guys kind of coming and going. I hope you're not having trouble getting in and finding me. Hey, Kathy. All right. Let me show you one other thing. So this is my current host code. <laughs> I didn't type it. You guys have to deal with my chicken scratch. Sorry. D-F-V-Y-Y-F-T-U. And if you order Stampin' Up! products totaling $50 at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and use the host code, that's all you have to do. Order from me, use the host code, and automatically you're going to get a kit for April's Paper and Ink card class. So you'll get a kit for each one of these. All the cutting is done for you. Um, all the measurements and directions and videos are already on the blog. It's just my little thank you gift. So if you um, place an order of $50 or more online, that's your gift. The videos and the project sheets are already on the blog. Just get the kits in the mail and follow along. It's my thank you gift for shopping with me. The offer is good now through April 30th. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Lori. This is the first time you've caught me live. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Kathy, my husband was just telling me I'm in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. I'm just northwest of Chicago. Not too far from you, actually, Kathy. And um, he was telling me last night that we're supposed to get snow also. I think that that's crazy. On Saturday, we're supposed to have snow. 
That's all right. I'll stay in and make projects with sunny days. All right, so I got quite a bit of coloring to do on these little guys for the strawberries and watermelons. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with stamping and coloring, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the project. I think we'll focus on maybe the strawberry one. Maybe I'll do both. We'll see. Maybe we'll chat. And But they're the same exact idea, just a little bit um, different color combination and fruit choice. But I'm going to start with those. And uh, let me just pull these aside. I'm going to grab my Let's talk about what you need for this project, shall we? Let's let's put first things first. So Sunny Day stamp set, it's an 11 piece uh, clear mount stamp set. I've got my envelope punch board. What else do we need? Some Stampin' Blends. Let me show you, I've got Real Red Combo Pack, Granny Apple Combo Pack, and the Lovely Lipstick Combo Pack. Then, let's see what else. Um, Stampin' Pad, or I should say ink for this project. Tuxedo Black Memento. You need your Starburst Punch and two inch circle punch. And then, let's see, my nail files came from Walmart. I have some designer series paper here that is from the Celebration paper. It's that butterfly one, but any black and white pattern will do for this project. I think it, with the bright splash of colors, the black and white is cool. So the six by six um, neutrals pack has black and white patterns in that you can use. I've got some cardstock in real red and granny apple green. These are just scraps for the starburst, depending on which combination you're making. Okay, and then depending on which combination you're making, I've got some strips of cardstock here. This is Berry Burst, and this is Granny Apple Green. These pieces are 2 inches by 11 inches, okay? The Designer Series Paper Measurement, it'll be on the project sheet, but the Designer Series Paper is 5 by 1 and 3 quarters. And then i got a scrap of Whisper White, and that's for our greeting and our fruits. Good. All right, let's get started here, shall we? I'm gonna grab my mm, Whisper White cardstock, my Memento Black Tuxedo Memento Black. Kathy says, oh no, right? Uh, it's just healing slow. I don't know what to say for it. I do feel better each day. Even though I'm healing slow, I see um, improvement and feel better every day, so I'm not complaining. It's supposed to snow on Saturday. I'll stay in and stamp. <laughs> All right, so I'm just inking up my sunny days ahead greeting. I'm hoping for some sunny days ahead and uh, no air cast. And I'm just going to stamp that on my Whisper White. And I'm going to flip it and stamp it again. I'm, I have found that with the sunny, it sometimes needs to go... Um, trace over it with a Stampin' Right marker to get a really good, strong black greeting. So I will probably end up, before I pack these up, I'll probably end up just tracing over Sunny to get a little darker impression. Sometimes I do that. If I had it on the Stamparatus, I could probably just ink it again and stamp again. I do that sometimes too. Okay, then I'm going to punch these guys out with a two-inch circle punch. Just center, and then I got plenty of scrap there for my fruits. We'll stamp those in just a minute. <laughs> Kathy says, Stamparatus time. Isn't that the truth? Sometimes these really um, bold sentiments can benefit from a little second coat of ink. All right, since I'm, since I'm punching, I'm going to grab my Starburst and my Real Red here and just give a punch on that one too. All right, I gotta clear some room here because we are going to need our Simply Score tool and our envelope punch board. So we'll get those in just a second. All right, before we get those, let me do another quick bit of stamping. We're gonna stamp a couple of strawberries and a couple of watermelons and just use up some of the scrap area here. 
Ooh, I just found a better memento ink pad. I better put this one aside so I can ink it out. The one I was using probably needs a little ink too. I got two strawberries, two little watermelons. Aren't these just the cutest little dudes you've ever seen? I love this stamp set. Kathy just got the Starburst punch last week. I think it is just the best punch. I love our scallop circles and the layering circles, but let's face it, when you're doing stuff for a craft fairs, and that's pretty much what this is um, for me, punches are the answer. All right, let me show you a little quick coloring. I'm going to do my strawberry first, and I've got real red. I'm going to take my light real red Stampin' Blend and I'm just going to kind of circle in quickly with the light and fill completely. And then I'll add the tiniest little shadow with the dark one under the leaves and down the left side because we got that strawberry good and saturated, we don't need to blend too much. Small spaces will kind of blend on their own if you take your time in that first layer of color and fill in completely. So same thing, just a little bit of a line underneath the leaves so it looks like a shadow. And then down the left side, you can trace where the two shades come together with the lighter one, but in such a small area, it won't really be necessary. For my watermelons, I did kind of the same idea light lovely lipstick and the darker one and I'm going to fill in the fruit with little circles really saturating the cardstock and then I'm going to go straight down the left side here with just a little shadow where the two shades meet I'll just swipe over with the light. Pretty simple coloring. I love simple coloring, but really effective. I think you get a lot of pop from these little fruits. All right, I found that the lovely lipstick kind of needed that touch where you blend the two shades together, but the real red ten tended to kind of melt into it, the two shades together. All right, and then the leaves and the rinds on the watermelon are granny apple. So for my leaves on my strawberry, quick color in with the granny apple. It's such a small area that you could leave it that way if you want to, or just with little swipes of the darker shade, radiate out from the center on the leaves. And then for the watermelon, I colored in completely with the light granny apple. And then I swiped down the sides with the dark and then kind of dotted across that center where the artist drew in some lines. I think it looks pretty good watermelon skin. All right, and then one more time. Do you guys like to color? I love to color. It's relaxing. Plan on doing a little bit of it this afternoon and this weekend. All right, so there's my fruits. Now let's do the little treat pouch here. We're gonna need our Simply Score tool. And we're gonna pop these guys in on the 11 inch side. Gonna score at three and one eighth and at three and a quarter. That's it. Barbara loves to color, especially with blends. Me too. They make everything look just so smooth. All right, so there's our pouches. I'm just working on two of them as we go. I hope that doesn't bother you guys. We'll chat while I fussy cut and stuff like that. You'll see them both done. All right, now bone folder. When Anne says blends make it so easy, it really does. Whether you blend the shades or you just color in, the Stampin' Blends do make coloring so easy. They, the alcohol base 
makes the color just apply so smoothly to the paper. Saturates the paper quickly so that you can get that nice tidy solid image or solid coloring without any streaking. All right, so I just folded with the bone folder on those two little square lines. They're really close together. They're just barely enough there to um, add a little bit of a width at the bottom so that your file sits in there. Really small area. You only have one eighth of an inch. There it is. Now, envelope punch board. I'm going to miss this one when it retires. I know it's had a long run, but um, it really does come in handy for little treats and boxes and things. I'm going to use the reverse punch and get all four corners. It's also my favorite current Stampin' Up! product for rounding corners. I miss having a little corner rounder, so my envelope punch board gets used for that a lot. And while we're using that reverse side for the nail file pouches themselves, we're also going to do the designer series paper. So lots of little corners here. For the designer series paper, you only need the top two. The bottom two are going to go back behind the pocket. So just the top corners on this, guys. Now, let's sweep that out. Those little punches get underneath there and they can back up. So clear them out. And then we're gonna take our little nail file pouch and we're going to fold it at the bottom so it's nice and square, you see? And then we're going to slide in and punch at one and three quarters. So here's two inches, back up one and three quarters. See how I've got the bottom? against the one and three quarters and then punch. You're going through both layers at one time. Now you're going to turn it and flip it and line up at one and three quarters again. And there's our little nail file pouch. So I've got my black and white designer series paper. You can use one of your choice. I'm using my leftover from Celebration. We'll just add our designer series paper. I'm also going to use some ribbon from a previous project. I got this thin sheer stuff. It's white organdy ribbon with a black edge. I had some with black polka dots too left from another project. Any white, black, black and white combo, something narrow that you have. We'll just tie these little pouches closed. I like to do a nice big bow right off the edge. Big loops, long tails. I like it to be kind of wild here. The sentiment is going to nudge right up against it, so bigger and bolder will show better. All right. One more time. All right, so fussy cutting. If you have trouble with it, try holding your scissors differently. If you hold your scissors this way, you're missing out on a lot of support and a lot of control. You wanna hold your scissor with your middle finger and then support the scissor with your index finger. Um, the other thing you should do is cut away the excess often. If you're a sloppy, fussy cutter, um, just make little progress and then cut away the excess. It will help you. And then the other thing you want to do is make sure that you close the scissor and open the scissor with your dominant hand, but you don't trace around the item that you're cutting out with the scissor. You actually use your non-dominant hand to feed the paper into the blade. So you open and close in your dominant hand, and your non-dominant hand controls the paper. So try those things, um, those tips, if you don't already do that when you're cutting and see if you get some improvements. Let me know if any of that helps. So there's our little fruits. Kathy makes lots of gift card envelopes with the envelope punch board. Ooh, that's a good one. I've never made a gift card envelope with the envelope punch board. Hmm, 
Sounds like a good one for craft fairs, too. I seem to have lost my little green starburst punch out. Ah, there it is. I was going to ask if anybody see it, but I got it. Lynn says really cute. Thank you, Lynn. All right, so I'm just putting my sentiment onto the starburst with some snail. Hmm. At this point, I'd probably take my stamp and write marker and go over sunny days, but I'm not exactly sure where it's at. It's still, ah, look at that. It's sitting right next to me. So I'm going to do that. Do you guys do this sometimes too? Grab your fine point of the stamp and write when something's just not quite dark enough. I love that you can. I love that Stampin' Up! has Stampin' Write markers to coordinate with every ink pad. So when you don't get that perfect impression, you can go back and give it a little touch up. And all I'll do is just fill in. And I'll show you the difference. If I was smart, I would have had it on my Stamparatus because I know that this Sunny, I've done enough of these. Sunny is sometimes not quite dark enough for my liking. There. Now does the camera even show you the difference between the two? There. Just a little bit. This one's just a little bit more solid. Makes me happy. Am I too rigid? All right, so then these little dudes are gonna go on to the pouch with dimensionals. And I found really that if I just took one split in half above and below the ribbon, that was sufficient. And then I really budged that sentiment right up to the knot of the ribbon. The knot, I push all the way off the side and the sentiment, I'm gonna center right over the ribbon. I like how it kind of peeks out. Now for my fruits, super simple. One with multi-purpose liquid glue or a little snail. So I've got my question is, do I have the one that was flowing or the one that was clogged? I don't know why I even bother keeping the one that's clogged laying around until I fix it. There we go. Little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. We'll put the first one on flat. And then, do you have a mini dimensional hanging around? I do. Let's grab a little half a mini. We'll put a half a mini on the back of this, straw this little strawberry and bump it up. That's it. There they are. Wishing you sunny days ahead. Very cute, very cute, very fun. Thank you, ladies. All right, so let me do this again. Real quick, for those of you who might have missed it at the beginning, I have an ordering special going on right now. You maybe have seen the paper and ink card class. Got four cards. The videos, project sheets are already on the blog. If you place a $50 order with me this month, and use the host code. There's the host code, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. I will send you the card class in the mail, absolutely free, automatically. Just needed to go marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and use the host code. Uh, project sheets and videos are already on the blog for you. Just follow along when your kit arrives. And my kitchen table stamper online classroom for May features sunny days ahead. And you can register now at kitchentablestamper.com slash online classroom. It's five projects. Cookie box, coordinating card, my favorite card because of the strawberries. I got a thing for strawberries. And then you can do hard things and a coordinating candy pouch. All right, so that's what's going on at Kitchen Table Stamper. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Have a great weekend, even if it's snowy where you live.